Next up is Danielle Steele, who's going to speak to us about what is inclusion, a black international student perspective. And Danielle, this is your mic. You stand in front of it, it will be okay. Feels weird being on this side of the classroom. <laughs> so my name is Daniel Steele and I'm a fourth year international student here at St. Mary's. I'm originally from Kingston, Jamaica, and I am currently completing an honors degree in psychology. So in the year 2021, Canada accepted over 621,000 students within their borders. That is 621,000 international students who have left their home countries for the purpose of completing higher education. Before moving here, I knew Canada for its multicultural population and its ability to foster diversity by accepting immigrants from various countries. This same idea of diversity is brought to prospective international students during recruitment. Recruiters are sent to foreign countries to convince high school students to apply to schools like St. Mary's. They sometimes make misleading promises of being able to fit right in and having access to numerous resources because of the multicultural and diverse school population. However, when these students have been accepted and are about to start their new journey, the support and resources that they were once promised starts to fade. It has been noted that across many Canadian universities, international students are not always included in equity, diversity, and inclusion policies. We are therefore not always considered a marginalized or equity-seeking group. We are, however, looked at through the framework of internationalization. International students' recruitment and visibility on campuses remains a priority for many universities for them to promote internationalization. This does not provide any real or meaningful commitment to endorse structural development in equity, diversity, or inclusivity amongst this group. From my experience as an international student of color, I've encountered many difficulties as it pertains to assimilating into the Canadian culture. I often experience feelings of isolation and alienation. Not to mention, I am often faced with biases and issues of discrimination based on my status as a foreigner. This coincides with the body of research available on the experiences of international students. The onus should be placed on the university to find creative ways to integrate us into the community. For example, the classroom setting at St. Mary's does not always facilitate inclusion. I find that professors almost always lead discussions and provide examples from a North American narrative, failing to realize that a sizable portion of their class may not share the same experience or even be able to understand. So, as we may be aware, having a diverse environment on its own is useless without factoring in inclusivity. To have a diverse and inclusive environment means to create a space where each person feels valued, respected, and have access to equal opportunities. As a Black international student here at St. Mary's, this feeling of inclusivity does not always exist. Black international students are often left out of the conversation of equity, diversity, and inclusivity. Being a Black international student at St. Mary's creates a unique experience as we are part of two separate marginalized groups. My honors research is therefore dedicated to understanding the experiences of Black international students here at St. Mary's as it pertains to inclusivity and belongingness. By conducting this study, our aim is to understand and redefine the meaning of inclusivity within this demographic. 
The study will be conducted in the form of semi-structured interviews. It will be an informal interview so that participants are able to speak freely and express their views with the researchers. Participants will be asked questions such as, what does it mean for you to belong here at St. Mary's? In what ways is St. Mary's inclusive and, is, and in what ways is it not? They will also be asked about the barriers that exist within the academic setting and how they believe that these barriers should be addressed. This research is not only important because it will be adding to the growing body of research in EDIA within higher education. It is important because it can hopefully be used when promoting new equity, diversity, and inclusion measures to ensure that Black international students are well represented. We expect to identify the barriers faced within the academic setting at St. Mary's, which may affect how Black international students integrate into the environment. So in conclusion, it is pertinent to cultivate a space where Black international international students and the international cohort at large can feel a semblance of belongingness, both inside and outside of the classrooms. We as Black internationals face many adversities in comparison to the majority population here at St. Mary's for us not to be considered an equity-seeking group. It is in host that this research will expound on the experiences of Black internationals and open eyes to the changes that can be made surrounding inclusivity here at St. Mary's. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that with us. I think that was very informative actually uh, as you know from my reaction yesterday um we have time for one question or comment before we have to move on patrick <laughs> you want my box this box you want my mic box i'm gonna toss it <laughs> Thank you, Danielle. That talk was super powerful. Um, I was wondering what, uh, basically, just like, what's where? Where do I start? Like, what's the kind of minimum thing that you would expect every prof to be doing to help improve inclusivity and make a more welcoming environment for Black international students? Good question. Well, first off, as I mentioned that. In fact, no, the box, the box, the box. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Just throw it. Do I catch it? No. <laughs> yes. So as I mentioned, like in classes, I find that I can't relate to sometimes what professors are saying because of how like the examples they used. So I feel that in order for us to feel inclusive, like create discussions in classes. I find that even in some of my psychology classes here, there are not much discussions and it's very, it's a culture shock actually, because I come from a place where classes are vibrant, right? And discussions are always taking place. And I know that sometimes with the time limit that classes have, you can't always facilitate that, but I find that we should or professors can create a time or create, yeah, create a time in class where you can get discussion, have discussions, and like that way by talking to each other, communicating with each other, you can get different views in the classrooms. So that's one way you can facilitate inclusion, like include us in discussions. 